Well, uh, here we are at another Jaguar Alive uh, driving experience with Michael. Uh, how are you, Michael? And uh, I guess the, in some way the highlight of this event is the coupe, the, the F-Type coupe, but it's only on display for now, right? Only on display. We, we can't wait to have this car on the racetrack. We all know how incredibly good the F-Type convertible is, and we're just, I know that we're going to be blown away by the performance of the coupe. Yeah, and uh, so the, the convertible has been on sale for uh, almost a year now, I, I think, and it's been very successful. I think it's a waiting list for it in some places, right? Yes, there is. Of course, you know, that all depends where in the country you are. Um, but, of course, once people drive it, that's the secret right there. In fact, we love the V6 on the racetrack. That is, it handles like a formula car. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the coupe because there's obviously a, the, the, the most obvious difference is the roof. I mean, yes. But also in performance wise, uh, probably it's going to be, not probably, it's going to be better than the convertible. With less weight, more more uh, stiffness and, and then suspension and all that, right? Well, when you have a stiffer chassis, if you like, and of course that roof always does it. There's no way you can build a convertible to be as stiff as a coupe. And if you want to go racing, you're going to go with a coupe. Um, it allows the suspension to do its job properly. And we have the best componentry, the best shock absorbers, the right balance, the right engineers. This is going to be very, very quick. Yeah. Can we talk a little bit about the, the specs of the car? I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be in the V6 and the V8 too? Yeah, V6, uh, 380 horsepower, and then, of course, uh, 500 horsepower, 502 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. And um, speaking about another incredible figure, at least to me, I mean, the price is not that high. I mean, what, the, the, the V6 starts around 65 or something like that? That's right, 69,000. Um, where you really have to look carefully, though, is right around that sort of $100,000 level. And you've got to think, what $100,000 car could I buy that would be quicker than the Jaguar R Coupe? And there isn't one. And uh, also, I think in terms of uh, design, I think the exterior design is beautiful too. So, and it's new. So I think that is uh, uh, that level of exclusivity that most people look for, right? Well, you know, we all know what Ian can do in a design, and I think he's just exceeded our expectations with this car. We had it on show at the Art Basel in Miami a couple of months ago, and it is remarkable the uh, response. Yeah. And uh, so the car doesn't go on sale till May, I believe, but uh, it's already, people are, can take orders, right? Uh, put, Pe put orders, people so. are placing orders right now, and around about May, um, you know, we can't pinpoint the date exactly, but uh, around uh, that May time, um, we're hoping to have them at the Performance Academy prior to that, but we'll see. Oh, let's, uh, let's hope for that, and I can be there for, <laughs> to enjoy that one. <laughs> I experienced the, co the convertible at Homestead Speedway uh, back, back in November, December, I think, and it was great. I mean, but I can't wait to drive this one. Well, we've all just been completely blown away. I mean, we have gentlemen here, Roberto Guerrero, Davey yeah. Jones. These, these boys have driven the most remarkable equipment known to man. And, and I saw Roberto and Davey hop out of the, the F-Type the first time we drove it. And we drove it really hard at Laguna Seca. And all of us were getting out of those cars and just saying, can you believe this car? Yeah, it's amazing what a transformation in Jaguar uh, in the past uh, few years. What was the sale 2007 from Ford to the Tata Group? Uh, it's yes. just been remarkable and how fast the change has been, right? Well, you know, there's nothing like having the proper budget to do things. And um, it was remarkable that it's really been right through since the recession that, that Jaguar has just come on the way that we have. And that's been an advantage in a way to have an economic situation to where Tata's proper budget could, uh, if you like, we, you know, we have the right people and we have the right opportunity to develop the cars. And so you're seeing the results of it now. Yeah, well, excellent, Mike. Uh, thank you very much for your time and information. And uh, keep me posted for uh, the drive on the coupe. And uh, uh, we're going to enjoy the day here with, with the other cars. Can't wait. Have a good time. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank you.